It's Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles is one of those delicious cereals that merges between food and downright candy. I've always been curious if Fruity Pebbles is bad for your health. So, to the ingredients list. Firstly, rice. Rice is a grain and a rich source of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide short-term energy and is a vital part of a well-balanced diet. Next, sugar. There are 9 grams of sugar per 3 fourths cup of Fruity Pebbles, far lower than the 24 gram allowance for women and 36 grams for men. But let's not kid ourselves here. Our average bowl of cereal is about 3 or 4 cups. It's safe to say there is a lot of sugar in Fruity Pebbles. Next, hydrogenated vegetable oil. When manufacturers force hydrogen gas into vegetable fats under extremely high pressure, it creates trans fatty acids. Hydrogenated oils are made up mostly of trans fats, which are worse for you than saturated fats. Trans fats contribute to heart disease as they aid in clogging arteries and decrease blood flow to vital organs around the body. Next, salt. There are 140 milligrams of sodium per 3 fourths cup. That's far lower than the 2300 milligram daily recommended intake. Next, Red 40. Red 40 gives Fruity Pebbles the distinctive red color. Although the FDA deems Red 40 to be safe and regulates its use in food, other organizations, such as the Center for Science in the Public Interest, believe it to be carcinogenic, meaning cancer causing. Next, Blue 1 and 2. The additive producing the distinctive blue color. Contrary to popular news, as of 2019, Neither of these dyes are banned in the EU. Next, yellow five and six. This is the additive that produces the distinctive yellow color. Although allergic reactions are rare, it may cause itching or hives in some. Next, turmeric oleoresin. This is a color that comes from the turmeric plant and is a main spice in most curries. Next, BHA are chemicals used to preserve fats and oils. Studies have shown both chemicals to cause cancer in the stomachs of mice and in case that means nothing to you, mice share 85% of the same DNA to humans. Next, sodium ascorbate or vitamin C. This is an essential nutrient. It serves as an antioxidant in the body. It is responsible for growth, development, and repair of body systems. And there's also ascorbic acid, which is another source of vitamin C. It is also an essential nutrient and it also serves as an antioxidant in the body. Next, vitamin B12. This helps with red blood cell formation and increases plasma levels. Next, reduced iron. Is iron that can be used in our bodies. The body uses iron to make hemoglobin and myoglobin that provide oxygen to your whole body. Next, zinc oxide. This is a source of zinc. It is a mineral used in breakfast cereals. It adds nutrients to increase nutritional value. It's deemed safe by the FDA. Next, vitamin B6. This contributes to brain health and aids in creating protein that carry oxygen around your body. Next, vitamin A palmitate. This derives from animal products and helps maintain healthy eyesight and skin function. Next, riboflavin or vitamin B2. This helps the body convert food in the form of carbohydrates into fuel, glucose, which is used to produce energy. Next, thiamine mononitrate or vitamin B1 helps break down carbohydrates and turn them into energy. Next, folic acid, a B vitamin that aids in maintaining and producing new cells. It is perfectly healthy for you. Next, niacinamide or vitamin B3 helps to manage cholesterol levels and is widely known to improve skin function. Next, vitamin D3, which aids in the absorption of calcium, which complements the milk you add to Fruity Pebbles. So there you have it. Was Fruity Pebbles any better or worse than you expected? Leave your comments down below. And also, this video idea was a request by a subscriber. If you have any requests, leave them down below. And be sure to check out the playlist on the channel for more of the food and drinks you know, love, and consume on a regular basis. <laughs>